Hey guys, it's Josie. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm out here in the yard. It's probably, oh, it's in the upper 80s today. Uh, we had some rains come through. Thank the Lord for that. Uh, not real uh, downpours, but some pretty good rains for today. And we got a couple of other chances. The, uh, several the other days this week like 20% chances and so we're um, keeping our uh, prayers going up for that and uh, but I thought today what I would do is just kind of go around and show you the shape of some of my trees some of my fruit trees and uh, what I'm gonna have to harvest and what I'm not gonna have to harvest some things uh, look pretty good other things I don't really have I'm not gonna have any kind of crop uh, or any kind of harvest this year and so I thought you might be interested to see how things fared in the heat and the drought I'll show you all this ugly this is one of my flower beds this is normally full of zinnias and sunflowers and uh, coxcomb and cat whiskers and really a really pretty bed but it just burn up some of my other beds are the same way these are my grapevines and they have suffered in this heat and the drought you can see here is a little cluster of grapes uh, but most of the grapes have shriveled and fallen off and didn't even uh, really ripen uh, so there is no grape harvest this year for me so uh, grape jelly is something that I like to keep on the shelf for the kids and for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I will be making jelly next week, but I'm going to be using uh, uh, no sugar added grape juice from the store. It makes delicious jelly. I'll be making a video on that next week. You can tell that some of the grape vines have uh, died off and you're gonna have to have some big uh, trim backs and some cutting out. That's a plum tree on the other side of that and it um, the leaves have all curled up on it and um, I don't know with the recent rains that we've gotten if it's enough to actually uh, help the tree come back out at least not drop its leaves uh, before fall I just don't really know if it's gonna stay on they're gonna stay on there or not now this is my pear tree and it is loaded with pears it has done really well they're not great big huge pears they're just about ready and I will be taking those off uh, last year I canned pears and they were the best pears I have ever ever had not because I canned them but they are just delicious off of this tree how he planted this for me and I don't remember what the variety is but uh, it's probably about five years old the tree uh, the first few years we had uh, the spring freeze and then we had storms that blew off all of the blooms one year and then another year of the uh, the storm this is the third year that that was the third year in a row uh, that it blew off all of the little pears and then last year was our first really big pear harvest and they were so delicious and so I'm gonna have a really really good pear harvest this year uh, but the wasp love this tree. This little tree here is an Arkansas black apple and it's uh, I think this is its third year how in I planted it and um, it hasn't had any apples yet. I probably hopefully get my first apple harvest off of it next year. Um, it's looking pretty good. It does have um, a little bit of damage on it but the tree overall is looking pretty good it doesn't look like it's suffering all that much and it could be that it just because it doesn't have any fruit on it we planted this tree because this is a good uh, Arkansas black is a good storage apple and once you pick it uh, it will last quite a few months uh, in storage for fresh eating and we're looking forward to having that. I had a second Ar uh, Arkansas black in another area and it didn't make it. We planted it last year or I planted it last year. And of course last year we had a drought and it uh, 
didn't make it through the drought. This tree was a little bit older and uh, it, it made it. This isn't a fruit tree, it's a willow tree. And normally this thing is just really, really pretty. It's in the low spot in our yard and it thrives on uh, the wetness. Uh, but of course with it being so dry this year, it's actually having some issues of its own. And so we will uh, uh, just keep, them, keep looking after it. I think it'll bounce back. I don't think it's in danger of, of uh, dying. It's got a lot of healthy on it, but it has a lot that has dropped its leaves as well. Here's my little peach tree, and I do have peaches on it. This is probably the most peaches that it's had on it. Uh, this portal thing has had a rough go of it. When it was a couple of years old, we had a stampede of calves come through uh, the fence over here and crashed right through this tree and broke it, broke half of it off. Uh, but we babied it and it's uh, going. It does have these, uh, has little peaches on it that are beginning to blush. Uh, and we'll we're hoping for some peaches but I also have places on this tree that are looking pretty sad so uh, hopefully these don't die hopefully it's just the leaves that are gonna uh, drop because of the drought and this part of the the tree doesn't I do have some of the limbs need to be pruned out and that'll probably help it some this little tree had damage right here and um, it still has this little limb and this limb and it looks like it's, um, you know, that that might be okay. I don't know, I, I really don't. This is coming up off of this, out off the side and I'll take it off. So I don't know if this little tree is going to make it or not. I hope it does. But you can see these are just crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Uh, still, still green. But I don't know. I just don't know if it's going to make it or not. This is an apple. Uh, golden delicious. But all the way up the tree you can just tell that. The little leaves, the little leaves are brown. They're not crisp, but they're brown and curled, and uh, they just have had a hard time in this in this season. This little apple tree is faring better. Uh, of course, we don't have any uh, apples on it as of yet. This is just uh, two years old, three years old. We can see that there's a little bit of insect damage on the leaves, uh, but it's young and no fruit this year, but it is still healthy looking, uh, still green. And so uh, we'll just keep babying it and looking after it. This is a little lime tree that I'm growing from a little plant that I picked up at Tractor Supply. I've put it in a in a container and this will have to go in of course in the winter time because we uh, live in zone 7 and this needs warmer temperatures than that it's doing pretty good it hasn't had any blooms uh, any flowers uh, and really and truly I'm just trying to keep the little thing alive now these bushes right here are my elderberries I have two of them and they're looking poor they looked beautiful this spring and so lush and pretty and they have suffered as well they do have berries uh, that are starting to turn and I will have to keep a watch on them or the birds will get more of them than than I will and I'm excited about having elderberries uh, I don't know this this harvest might be a little bit bigger than the harvest that I got last year uh, it's not quite the harvest that I thought that I was going to get, uh, but it, but uh, they're doing fairly well considering how hot and dry it's been. And uh, I will, as soon as these turn 
and are ready I will get them picked and I'll be uh, making some el uh, I'll be making some elderberry syrup and some elderberry jelly out of those last year I showed you parts of this tree and I actually showed you tying blue string onto it so that I could show uh, the guys where parts of this tree were dead and need to be cut it cut out uh, I want to show you that it has a few more areas that need to be cut out and I also want to show you the fruit now this uh, is a peach tree but I'll show you how teeny tiny uh, look here how teeny tiny these are now I don't know if these are supposed to be a native peach or they weren't when we purchased this tree quite a few years back it was not supposed to be a native tree but I don't know what is going on with this thing it is crazy I'll show you it is just full up through there of little fruits teeny tiny fruit the tree itself is big but I want to show you this area that there are no leaves on the tree whatsoever or on these limbs but look at the fruit that's hanging on it it's not ripe it's teeny tiny and I really don't know what's going on <laughs> uh, I have no idea if you have any ideas obviously this part of the tree uh, I don't know uh, I would think just by looking at it with the naked eye I would say the tree's dead or this part of the tree's dead but then you look at all this fruit that's hanging on it and you see some leaves that have dried up and have fallen off it makes you wonder what in the world is going on with it this is my rose bush that Howie bought me for our very last Valentine's Day that we shared together and it has held on it needs to be uh, deadheaded these things cut back these right here but the bush itself is looking healthy uh, overall and I'm thankful for that because this is uh, something special to me but let me show you right next to it is my snowball bush and I'm hoping and praying that my snowball bush has not died it does have you can see where there is some green uh, the leaves are all crispy I, I don't know I'm hoping that this thing holds on and comes out of it uh, this poor little bush <laughs> we have a long history together and I sure would hate to see it uh, die out this will just kind of give you an idea of what our ground is looking like we have had rain but oh boy we're just cracking open and Hopefully you can see that it's just cracking all over this is one of the honey berries that I ordered from Stark Brothers and I uh, I ordered two one of them didn't make it and I didn't think this one did but it actually came back out and it is uh, doing pretty good up here on the porch I'm watering it and really tending to it looking after it and um, it's not Stark's problem. It's not Stark's fault. I um, love products that I get from Stark, but it's just been such a really hot and dry year. Um, the raspberries and the blackberries didn't fare, uh, fare any better. I do have a couple of blackberries that survived. They're up at the garden in the, uh, the original blackberry bed that I had. Raspberries didn't, didn't take, didn't do well. We'll try again. I'll keep on until I am able to have a, um, a nice selection of fruits and berries for my orchard. Um, this has been a dream that we've had for years and years and years and we'll continue to work towards that goal. Sometimes you have wonderful uh, harvest years and sometimes you don't. And so we just have to roll with it. We have to keep moving forward and we'll replant. Now, this spring I was able to get some starts off of my elderberry bushes they were crazy with with fresh new starts coming up and then I took some uh, hardwood cuttings and I've got some of those um, started and uh, not all of them survived again with the heat but some of them have and so I'll be planting them out 
uh, when it gets a little bit cooler and I'm going to try to really build up my supply of elderberry bushes and um, everything that I can so that we're looking well to the way of our household. That's the goal uh, to be able to provide as much of our own stuff as, as, uh, as possible and uh, have fun in the process. I hope that you enjoyed this quick little walk through of the shape of some of my work. Some good news, some not so good news, but everything's gonna be okay. Till next time guys, this is Josie. I love you, I really do. Keep looking well to the ways of your household. Consider getting some orchard put in the ground. And until next time, we're gone.